Today, Kevin and I, or in this video, Kevin and I are going to be uh, working our way through this entire advent calendar. This is a 12-day crafts advent calendar, and this was available at Aldi. It was only $12.99 at mm -hmm. Aldi. And, uh, but you get, what, 20, 12 days? You get, you get 12. Yeah, 12 days, you get 12 crafts. So I'm just, uh, I'm wanting to put it, we're, we wanted to put it together in a video for you to open each day to show you what you get. So, it's worth it. so if you didn't get one this year, you'll know, hey, that looks really cool and it's going to be worth to get getting it next year. Or when this video comes out, these might still be available at your Aldi and, yeah. and you might be interested in checking it out. Yeah, the, the alcohol ones sell really fast. The cheese ones sell pretty fast. This one may not sell as fast. Exactly. So, so $12.99, we want to see if it's worth the $12.99. So it shows, um, it shows the 12 things that you get. You actually get, it's a sand ornament, snowman holiday puzzle, a smishable Santa, Holiday velvet stickers, scratch ornaments, holiday dig kits. That should be interesting. Bendy beads craft. Oh, while you're doing that, let me. Go ahead. Ornament frame, llama Santa puzzle, jingle bells jewelry, holiday sun catcher, and Santa sleigh. That is smart. Kevin got us a board to put on the table. So, especially since we're going to be working with sand. When I heard the sand, I went, no, I probably should get something. <laughs> so we are going to be opening these in order. So Yeah, we'll both do something. Okay, so day one, do you just punch it? How do you? It usually has somewhere you can. That's for you. Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I messed it up because I punched it in the wrong place. No, nah, I think it's just going to be hard enough. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is a this is a good size uh, kit. Oh, this is the sand. The kit. sand. Okay. So Kevin can show you what you you get. Was that little piece of ribbon in it? Yeah, everything. Okay. Here so a little piece of ribbon. You get the little ornament. It's got the hanger on it too, so you can hang it on your tree. It's got a little funnel. It's got three that's bags. Just, that's like a a Barbie funnel. That's to put your sand in. It's got three colors of sand: green, white, and red. Pretty good size bags of sand. A little stick to I guess go in there and move it around. And then it looks like we got these are in different languages. Oh, sand ornament. This so, one is in um, looks like Spanish. It tells you how to do each of these, each of the ornaments. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is your instructions. So, oh, so the first day gives you like all the directions, pretty much. Uh, yes, you get directions on each side for these. So, um, Kevin. Uh, uh, said, you know, we're not showing you how to do it. You all can figure that out on your own. What we just want to show you is what you get each day and you know, like we said, see if it's worth it to you. So let me go ahead and open up day two. Um, right here. And I'm supposed to make Santa Claus out of this sand? That could be interesting. Oh, I got a puzzle. So, <laughs> um, and it's mostly put together. <laughs> it's kind of cheap. It it uh, it is it it is mainly uh, put together. There's four hunks. Is there four hunks? There's four hunks. This puzzle, and it's literally you just lay it down and stick it together. Well, I'm done. <laughs> no, you're not done because you put that in the wrong spot. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. I beat you. Yeah, for real. <laughs> well, literally, do you want me to do the same on film? Um. Because you make you're making any little design you want in here. They're they're showing a picture of like Santa Claus in there. Like red and then a white stripe. And stuff I like think that. you ought to go ahead and do it and do red and white. Well, I, I can do, be doing this while you're doing and it. And I'll open day three. So this is your puzzle, which really you saw was in four hunks. Yeah, so if you really want to do it, you'd have to open it for them and tear it apart. You would have to take it apart for the kids. Yeah. So I'll open uh, day three. I'll tell you what, it kind of hurts your finger. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, and this is 
<laughs> yeah, I'm opening the right ones because mine don't have anything involved at all. Gavin loves these things. These are the uh, squishy oh, things. Squishies. They're like, what do you call those uh, stress balls? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a stress ball. Well, how is that a craft? It's, it's, that's not a craft. Well, but it's it's this literally a, okay, it says, the only one so far is a craft it says hold this jolly character in the palm of your hand and grip as tightly as you can this slow rising smushable will have you smiling and squeezing again and again once firmly pressed release the smushable and watch it return to its original form and repeat yeah that's a little cheap so I squish the heck out of it I squish it about as much as you can but you know what Gavin does like stuff He would like, like it, but is it a craft? It's not, it's a, not craft. a craft. No, it's not a craft. And that's exactly why we're opening this for you, so that you know what to expect. And as far as the sand ornament goes that Kevin's doing, it says, arrange your content on a flat surface. Remove the lid from the top of the ornament. Select a bag of sand to begin your design. Fill the ornament, layering the sand in different orders to create interesting designs. Once you are satisfied with your design, firmly place the lid back on top of the ornament, thread the ribbon through the hole at the top of the ornament, unite the two ends, and tie a knot forming a loop. Hang your festive sand ornament on the tree for all to see. The snowman holiday puzzle that I opened, it says, begin by laying out all the pieces of the puzzle in front of you. There were four huge hunks. Uh, then turn each one picture, then turn each one picture side up, have the box image nearby to use as a reference, assemble the puzzle by connecting all the pieces together, start with the edges and connect the pieces to form a frame, then fill in the center sections to complete your picture. Once your puzzle is complete, you can disassemble the image and do it all over again, or you can save the fun by gluing the pieces together. So we actually did a video, um, long time ago well it's probably been at least a year ago hasn't mm -hmm. it of mm -hmm. this puzzle glue that we bought and it works really really well um but then what was that 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 company sent me some company sent me something with a puzzle put, oh it was like laminating sheets yeah they were put laminating sheets on and i said why have we never well first of all laminating sheets that? are more expensive laminating sheets are more expensive but you if you wanted because this is so small if you wanted to like keep this you could literally put that between the laminating sheets and just laminate the whole darn thing um you could. so i, I mean do that, i don't know why you would want to keep that but you could um so then the next one um the next one is day four day four i'm still working on day i'm one. telling you it's hard to get the Ooh! okay these are holiday velvet stickers Select a shape to design. Fill in all of the white areas with fun and festive colors. Create your own color combinations by shading in one color over the other. For example, coloring in red, then adding a layer of blue will create purple. Once you have completed your design, share your art with family and friends. Personalize any gift by attaching your artwork to a card or present during the holidays. Well, I guess they told you that you can create different colors because they only wanted to give you three markers. <laughs> That's why they wanted to they wanted to uh, do this the cheapest way they could, you know, and make it affordable for them and you. But these are literally like velvety. So we have mittens, and then we have a snowflake. So they look like this. And then they give you three markers. So you get a red, green, and blue. And I could color these in, uh, but I'm gonna leave them laying right there for a minute and we're, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, the next one looks really cool. It is supposed to be a scratch ornament, which um, I did. Um, I remember those. I did scratch art. The first time I ever did that kind of art was in seventh grade. Yeah, where you color the bunch of little colors on top of it. And then you... You color a bunch of different colors, like squares and stuff right. like that. And, and then, then you, you color the whole thing black. Black. With a black crayon. Yes. And then you scratch off. Yeah, I remember And it, it's really, really cool. 
So, um, so they basically just put the colors and the stuff on there for you. So yes. Oh wow. Okay. So this. I'm never very artistic with my sand art here. You are more artistic than I am. That's okay. So what you get in this is you get a red ribbon and a green ribbon. You get two different shapes. You get a circular shape and then a just a bell a, a bell shape, but then just a round ornament shape. And then this is your scratch tool. And so um, I will show you later. We'll actually, I'll do some of this, but I want the camera to be closer when I first stick it in there. So I'm going to wait a minute and we'll show you this. Uh, I want to get it up close. For what Kevin's doing right now, we don't need to be up close. Uh, so then there is a holiday dig kit. Is day number six. So holiday dig kit. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, and there's tools. Huh? Okay. So, you get a block. It looks like concrete. And then you get tools. It's a paintbrush. And then you get like a... A sharp... Uh, not a sharp tool, but a... Like a firm... Well, how would you describe that? Like a straw, but like it's... Like a little chisel. Yeah. That's it. It's a chisel. So, I want to open this, and we'll see. Because this, you don't have to have the camera up close to you. And this is, this is going to be one of those messy things. Okay, so it says, Using the digging tool, carefully break apart the earthen present. Use the dusting brush to clean away any excess dirt. Continue digging until you uncover the hidden charm. Once the hidden charm is discovered, use the dusting brush to clean the newly excavated treasure and enjoy the surprise. So it, it does look like a present on top. This is for kids? I know. Uh, uh, remember that diamond, that, uh those gold things yes we didn't and you had know. to get them wet we didn't know and we bought these um we bought these toys for um for gavin for christmas last year I think. and we earned it was it just for the heck of i it? think it was for the heck of it and they were messy they were very messy this is going to be messy and we just I, don't get it wet those you got wet and this is going to be uh need lots of patience because well, I guess it at least keeps them busy for a little while. Yeah, this would keep them busy because they're, as long as they don't stab themselves trying to do it. <laughs> you thought you were going to do that one quickly. Yeah, I thought it was going to be quick. But I didn't realize it's literally like in concrete. Well, I'm almost done. I'm well, gonna... This is awful. I don't like this. Here, I'm almost done. I'll take over for you. Yeah, you can, because this is not fun. For me, that's not fun. I think to some kids, some kids would like the challenge of that. Of that, it, it, To me, it's already hurt, digging in my hand. It's already hurting my hand. I'm not going to enjoy that at all. Okay, there's one. Ooh, I like it. You know what? It, it's pretty. It doesn't look like Santa Claus at all. No, but, but here's what pretty. happens. You take this and it looks just like this when you're doing this. Yeah. But the minute you put it in your box to store your ornament for next year, uh -huh. it's going to shift. And uh -huh. then you put it back up and it's going to all get mixed so together. So every year it's, like, it's going to shift. You didn't put your ribbon on it. Oh, that's just a tie-up. To so hang it on hang. It's tray. very heavy though. I don't know if you'd want to hang that. It is pretty heavy. Now we'll take that over and give it to the grandkids and they can... Hey, Papa made you this ornament. Hey, trust me, they'll hang it on the tree. They might throw it away at the end yeah, of the this season. Is, this is like uh, macaroni art. Yeah, and who doesn't love that? Yeah, you can do that because that is no fun at all. I never like those kind of toys either, breaking stuff apart. Okay, the next one, it looks like one for you too. It's a bendy beads crack. Just to let you know, you did get an extra sand, so if they spill some, then you've got an extra. Yeah, if they spill some, <laughs> make sure you stay in the holiday spirit. <laughs> yeah, don't start cursing. Yeah, you have to be happy about it. <laughs> okay, so we're on day seven. 
Yeah, good luck with that getting into that concrete. Alright, so there's this. I'm still out. Oh wow. This is literally beads. Okay. This is I know. That is um what's that what's that um molding stuff? Uh um shoot. You make impressions of like shoe impressions and dinosaur tracks and animal tracks and stuff like that. Plaster pairs. That's plaster pairs. Yeah. And you can't you can't I know and your hands are gonna hurt. That's what I'm saying. That was not fun for me. Is that fun for you? I'm not having fun. I'll be back. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna take that thing back in the other room and he's gonna hit it with a hammer. With a hammer. <laughs> he's gonna hit it with a hammer because I'm telling you. Yeah, that one's not a. That's, it's too, it's, they made it too hard. They made it too hard. The ones that we bought for Gavin, it seemed like they, they were, were compressed sand. Yeah, they were compressed sand, like that, uh, like, what is it called? Space sand or? Kinetic it, sand? Yeah. Not kinetic sand, but it was simple. It was, it was like okay. that. I just want you to show you. I hit that with a hammer like five or six times. Did you find a charm? No, I still haven't found anything. So I'm going to have to sit here. I'm not going to do it because it's, I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah, but we should show the charm that you get. You should go keep hitting it until you find the charm at least so we can show it. Do you it. think that might be it right there? Yes. I think you because should. Because look, I mean, it, it's big hunks. It's not fun. It really is like concrete. I wouldn't like that. Go hit it. I'll hit I'll get with the screwdriver. Just so we can show the charm. Okay. Now this one, it. I don't think they give you the appropriate tools for as hard as that. No. This one says adult supervision required for this one. And I think it's because it is, it's little beads. <laughs> Did you find the charm? No. Okay, you get a piece of paper and you get this with little pointy things sticking out and you get beads. So this says, before you begin, lay out all of your content in front of you to figure out what design you would like to create with your beads. Once you have mapped out your idea, position the pegboard on a flat surface. Place the beads on the pegboard one at a time to create your design. Once all of the beads are in place, ask an adult for help before moving on to the next step. An iron is needed for the next step. Place the pegboard on a flat, on a flat and heat safe surface. Position the iron sheet on top of your design on the pegboard. Allow your iron to heat up. Okay, so this will be one. You're making a pattern and then you're sticking it all together. Yes. There's going to be several of these that I'm laying to the side that I'm going to show you close up of at the end. This will be one that I bring the camera closer and I show you that close at the end. So we're going to wait on this one. So there's several of these. The scratch thing, there's several of these that we're going to do at the end at one time because um, they're more involved, uh, is how I feel. Now, the next one is supposed to be number eight. Where's number eight? Number eight, oh, this is really, really cute. So, number eight is an ornament frame. Hey, do you just get one charm? Yeah, one charm. Oh, my God. Have you not found it yet? Yeah. Oh, you found it. Is it a diamond? Yeah, it is. For all the work you do, huh? Okay. I made a mess in there. I'll have to clean that up. So this is a uh, ornament frame. So you can put a picture of yourself or your child or whoever's face in this ornament. And then they give you the paint so that you can paint it. You get a nice little paintbrush. 
and you get a piece of ribbon to get through that hole, which good grief. How do you get that through that hole? Um, you don't. <laughs> okay. Would you use a needle? That's the charm you get. Let me see. Out of that whole brick. Oh. <laughs> it's a little dog. Okay, we'll show you that close up in a few yeah. minutes. Um, it was in the very bottom if you want to save yourself some time. So start at the bottom. Uh, there's no way. Unless you're scraping dust off of it. I'm glad you said you that. You could do that with this because I was taking a screwdriver, metal screwdriver, digging in there and breaking off pieces of it. You would have to literally scrape off powder on that one. So yeah. that is a bad crack. Yeah, me. that's not fun. Okay. I yeah. have an opinion about this set already. Okay, number nine. <laughs> I'll let you do this. You can do that right now. Now your puzzle is in four pieces. This Hold was on, in a, a this was in a smaller uh, hole. This yeah, is this a one's in like six feet. Well, it's a llama puzzle, and it's they do, that big, they though. do show you a picture of the llama puzzle on here. Um, Small children might like that. Okay, number ten. I think you have I tell you what, these, going. oh listen, I've had a time opening these. They, uh, they're very, very thick cardboard, and uh, yeah, it's not fun to open them. Okay, this is called Jingle Bells Jewelry. Start by measuring a piece of cord around your wrist, then add two extra inches before cutting the cord. Now tie a knot at one end of the cord to prevent the beads from falling off. Plan out how you would like to design your bracelet by laying out all the beads and bells on a flat surface. Once you decide, decide your design, it's time to string the beads onto the cord. Apply one bead at a time to the cording. Once you are happy with your design, complete your jewelry by tying a knot at the end of the cord and cut any excess string. That's cute. Now your Jingle Bell jewelry is complete. It's perfect as a holiday accessory or a unique gift for a special friend or family member. So now see, to me, um, I would use that as a like an ornament on the tree. So you don't have to, but... So we probably make two. We give you enough cord to make two, um, probably. You could definitely put that on the Christmas tree. So are you gonna do it? Do you wanna make it? Yeah, make it. You could make, however, um, you I, if I were you, I would try to do several, and that way you have an ornaments, an ornament for everybody. Because there's different ornaments here, and that way when we take them over, then they can have a bunch of little ornaments to hang on the tree. So that was number two. So what? So. Let's just make a loop. You're making it as a bracelet, so it doesn't matter how big you make it. I mean, they give you quite a bit of nice cord. Oh, yeah, work. it's very nice. That's nice. It doesn't matter how so long you make it. I just need to make, make a loop, it. really. Okay, now I only have two more days while Kevin's making jewelry. All right, you could literally probably make one, two. But you don't get three, a ton of beads. Four, no. You don't get a ton five, of beads. You can make five loops. That would be like really big bracelets, even for me. But yeah, you don't get that many beads. So the beads, if you want to fill it up, you're not going to get that many. This How big is... do you want these for ornaments, though? Like, like that big? Yeah. Like that small? Yeah. Thing? So you'll you only probably only be able to make two because you only get two. You only get enough beads for two. This is actually really cool. This is one of those holiday sun catchers. So it is in the shape of a snowman. Oh, and you paint it. And they show you, they actually have a picture of a painted snowman behind it so that you can kind of go by the col those colors, lay it under there and paint it the way you want it and then remove that piece of paper. That's actually really cool. And then the last one. Oh, you're actually on the 12 one? Yeah. Well, I haven't been doing any of these though. Um. I, I'm gonna save them to the end and I'll bring the camera closer uh, because you really truly you can't see This one looks um, Like your kind of thing. This is a paper thing to put together Like how the paper thing is my thing today. 
Well, it's, you know, you do all those paper crafts. Uh, this is before you begin, you will need to gather a few supplies from home. Small empty paper cup. What if you don't have a paper cup? Scissors and glue. Scissors and glue? What, do we have glue? I don't think we have glue. Um, we have like wood glue. We're old people. <laughs> I don't think we, or um, hot glue. <laughs> I don't think we have Elmer's glue. Um, I might have. I have wood glue. Uh, that's like what said, I said. Have wood we glue. have wood glue. I've got contact glue, like spray glue. Um, yeah, you're supposed to make a slide. I'm gonna go get the iron and heat it up. Yeah. These are your, this is your bead craft, and I'm just going to put them on this plate. And it says you're supposed to come up, outline your own design. And I have absolutely, absolutely well, they, they don't give you enough of any one color to make like a know, face or anything. I know. Well, the, the picture that they show on the box is of like Santa Claus. But is there any? Uh, there's no one. Is there any, there's no green. I want to show you this picture. Okay, showing. see if you can, uh, right, right here. Right there. This is the picture they show, and they don't it's give you. It's almost all white. And they don't give you hardly any white, and they give you a bunch of green. Yeah, so, um, so that's a blatant lie. Yeah, so you look at that, <laughs> and then look at how much white. There's no way that I could make no, Santa Claus. So you're just going to be sticking stuff on there. So, uh, yeah. Well, I thought I would do a, like a, a Christmas tree. A like, wreath of some kind? Uh, but it's, you don't have no green to really do it. You're just going to have to stick them on there. <laughs> While I'm doing this, why don't I scoot this over and you can be doing that scratch off one. Scratch off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a scratch off. So That's I'll cool. show you. Yeah. So, uh, I've got, I'll let Kevin sit there while I'm doing this. That took about 10 years, it felt like. 18 it, minutes. It felt like it took years off my It took life. 18 minutes, literally. Uh, let me, uh, there's, that's how many beads you have left. So now, I think you take this Here, paper, and I think you put it on top of this. And let me tell you, this was, this is a nightmare because you have to have a lot of patience. But they're also teeny, 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 tiny. So unless your child first of all has patience, but then can grasp those, then uh, they are, this is not the craft for them because these are little bitty beads. Oh, can you put that on the stove? Oh boy. Okay. It has to be heat safe. I have that zoomed in. Okay. Now and put then, this um, on top of it. Yeah, use it on the iron sheet in a circular motion. Okay, so like this. How long do you do it? And just it says until they're starting up, until they melt together. They look like 
they're getting flat, so I would think they're good. Now you leave it on there until they cool. Oh, okay. Okay, I said I'd show you a close-up of the charm. This is the little charm that came out of that dig kit. Um, that's the only one I, I know of that's in there. I didn't dig anymore uh, because it was really wasn't worth the effort, but that's, that's what you get. We decided not to do some of these things. Yeah, like painting this. <laughs> painting the sun catcher. I do like the sun catcher. Uh, you can go to uh, the Dollar Tree and mm -hmm, buy these for a dollar. Yeah, they have a bunch uh, of different you ones. You could go to Michael's and get these. I don't know how much they are at Michael's, but uh, they're, I know they have them at Dollar Tree. Also, I decided to not color these because we do have grandkids, and that's something that they can do. Yeah, um, yeah Christina will let them sit at the table and do this. Yes, so she will absolutely. Also, this is one more thing uh, that we decided not to do, and, and this... The we don't have a uh, paper cup. We have a we have plastic cups. We don't have a paper cup. Uh, we also don't have Elmer's glue. So if you don't have a paper cup and glue, then that's one that the, it's going to be kind of frustrating for can't the kids because they can't do it. Um, this I have not taken this off yet. Oh, that's cool. But there's not a. It'll pull off. You take it off the thing. Oh, you take it off here. Yeah. The ones that's cool off. Oh. You know what that looks like? One of those little hard candies with a little pattern in the middle. Oh, so that's. So I guess you could have left out one of the beads, maybe. I was gonna say leave out one of the beads so that you can hang it up. I guess. I mean, um. Does it have any holes in it? At all? it that's what I'm saying. There's no. Uh, I was gonna say there's no. Oh, uh, there's a couple little holes. You could stick a, a Christmas a hanger like an ornament hook. Oh yes, you could do a hook. You could do an ornament hook. Have there. a point. Yeah. You could do a hook. You that's, could also do a hook with this. Yeah. And that's true. Of using that, that yarn. ribbon because because good luck with that. You're gonna have to have one of those. Uh, the hole is so small. You're gonna have to have one of those uh, needles like you do cross point. Or yeah, I think point with, I think a uh, a hook uh, would work much would be better. Just as easy. Um, this. Um, let's talk about what we think of as crafts and what we think of as activities. First of all, this is neither. <laughs> yeah, that's just something to hold This on. is neither a craft nor an activity. This is something that you would throw in somebody's goodie bag or stocking, and this is, shouldn't have been in this calendar at all. Activities. You got the puzzles. We, we have two puzzles that we really feel Which like. Which the is really cute, we, but they could have at least broke them up some. We don't feel like these are crafts. No, and this, this very specifically says crafts. It says 12 days of crafts crafts advent calendar we don't look at this as a craft we don't look at these as a craft i also don't the, look the dig thing is definitely not a craft it's not a craft it's not a, a, it's not making something a craft is creating something putting something together this was a craft right. that was putting something i think together. the sand thing's a craft i think the sand's a craft i think this, these are the crafts I, I do stuff. think the painting stuff and the artistic stuff, I do, which I love. I truly do love these. The only thing that would have made them better is if it was on both sides. Yeah, because um, you got to kind of hang on your tree and make sure they don't turn. But you can see Kevin really has an artistic flair there. I think he did a really good job with those. Um, those are, since they're artistic and you're actually putting something together and doing something, I consider those crafts. So we had one, two, three, four, five... Six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Really, there were eight crafts and then uh, four other things. Right. So, what you have to decide is, do you think those eight crafts really are worth $13? Right. Or would you rather go to somewhere like Dollar Tree? Yeah, I forgot Dollar Tree sells tons of Dollar different Tree sells crafts all kinds of things. Like they sell all kinds of wooden things like this, and yeah. you can get all different shapes and stuff to paint. Yeah, think about what we bought for Ashley's classroom. Yeah, those little easels and stuff. Yes, they sell they, little canvases even for a dollar. Right. So when you, I personally would not buy this one. I wouldn't either because you know what your children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, whatever you know the kind of crafts they like doing this is so different and it is different but if they don't like doing the little things like that i think or if they're too young i think that this was for an older child because it took all the patience this. i had 
Yeah. A younger child necessarily wouldn't necessarily do that. I mean, they could, but they, they could, wouldn't enjoy it. But they're going to make a mess. Um, and this, I'm telling this you, this is, is really a craft more for parents to glue stuff together. Yes, because you um, have to cut a cup, you have to glue, they yeah. have to wait for the glue to dry. Um, so, and that, that breaking apart thing was ridiculous. Yeah, it was um, just hard. This just would not um, be something that I personally. Yeah. Uh, I like the little scratch off things. You can literally make these out of construction paper. Yeah. With different color crowns. Ashley, I've done this with her class um, before. But I, that's what I was going to say. You know what they like to do. If they like to color and paint, you buy crafts that just all have color and paint. If they like to do these little wooden things, you buy 12 of these and they've got 12 of them. To yeah, do. they have 12 days. Um, and you're paying $13 for this. Buy, you could buy 13 of those yeah, and they could have... They probably have stuff like this. It may not be a dollar, but... but I know they have stuff like that. They probably don't sell. They might sell sand art. I don't know. I'm but, sure uh, the Dollar Tree sells sand art. I, I I'm think, sure they do. I think if you gave this away, someone's probably going to go, "Oh yeah, we got this and it's fun." But they're I don't know, for. I don't know if I'd buy it for family members. I would. Yeah, I would, <laughs> I would not personally go out of my way to get this. No. Um, no. If they're out of them already, don't feel like you've lost out. Yeah, and like next year, even if they had all different things to do, it's probably still going to be very, very similar to this. And I will not feel the need to get one again. Right. Uh, they, I mean, you can always look on the back and see kind of what the crafts yeah, are. Yeah, and that is the good thing. I like that. They did show you on the back. Now, some people wouldn't like that. <laughs> oh. Was that that bracelet? Yeah. <laughs> this is the bracelet on the side that you're supposed to be able to make. <laughs> they have like 40 beads on there. Yeah. This is all the beads you get. This is what it really makes. Yeah, they That's have a lot hilarious. of things on there. Well, and even the um, the Santa thing with the this, the, and Tammy mentioned that you really you don't get the beads to do that. You I mean, don't get they enough white had, ones. If they want, if they're showing that as an example, then you that, should be able They to should do have that. given you enough to make that craft. Yeah, that, yeah, that bracelet's ridiculous. Um, and the uh, sleigh, I just don't. Anyway, I just we would not get it again. You know, we did it this once. We'll give these things away that we didn't put together. But this is one of those. They, they Aldi has so many advent calendars to choose from. Like for kids, they have, like they had the little people, the great big little people books. advent calendar. They have books. So like the kids can get a different book. They had Marvel. They had Disney. Um, they had a Frozen thing uh, themed one. They can get a different book every day. They have the chocolate advent I calendar. Think so. I think a kid would like the chocolate advent calendar just as much as I I think they would rather get a piece of chocolate. Most kids, I think, would rather have a piece of chocolate every day than the than frustration of dealing with a couple of Because truly, these. these are just, I think they're going to be frustrating for them. So, I hope Especially this helps this you out. Um, <laughs> if, if you have bought one of these, you can let us know what you thought. I don't know how, how many years Aldi has been doing the crafts. Mm. Or is it a new one? This might be a new advent calendar that they're, they're doing this year. Um, and you know, they're saying ages six and up. I don't, I don't know if a six-year-old would be able to do some of the stuff by themselves. No, maybe. I think, well, I think mom or dad. Are uh, really going to have to help. I think if you're doing an advent calendar with your child, that mom and dad are there every day anyway. Because mom and dad want to make sure you open up the right day and that you don't open up any more than one at a time. Right? Yeah, this so, is more of a family activity. Though. Yeah, this is more let's keep the kids busy uh, for a little while yeah, and that's true. make the days go while they're out of school. Uh, so I hope this helps you out. That's just our opinion. Yeah, you, know, you might absolutely as love grandparents. This. You, you know, that for those of you out there that have children, you can let us know if you think it would be worth it. As, as people that have raised our kids, we have grandchildren. Oh, I, I just would rather go out and buy my own and choose, like you said, choose the craft of my choice to paint. That I know they're going to enjoy. Yeah, rather than be handed something that we don't know what it's going to end up looking like. I mean, that's the extent of my creativity right there. That was pretty good, though. <laughs> it's awful looking. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.